Hi guys, welcome to my new tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how I created this elegant coaster without any store-bought tools. Actually, you don't need to buy any tools. If you just wanted to give a try to this unique art, I'm sure you can find all this stuff at home. Let's talk about acrylic paint. I'm using only four paints today. Emperor Gold by DecoArt, Rich Espresso Metallic Paint by DecoArt, Pond by Martha Stewart, Teal Mint by DecoArt. I'm going to transform this wooden coaster, but you can choose glass or ceramic tile, doesn't matter. Starting with a base coat, I'm using black satin. Mm, Matte is also fine if that's what you have. I would recommend two coats and you should start dotting once it's completely dry. Let's take a center point. I'm using white charcoal pencil which I can remove later on with wet q-tip. You can also use regular pencil if you want. Now when we have a center point I'm using a lip gloss for the first dot. First dot is always important. You have to be gentle and make sure you're not pressing it too hard. I always swirl up the big dot and I recommend this because it becomes easy to apply top dot on it and also gives a cleaner look to your painting. My next tool is a lollipop stick. Oops! Guys, don't make the same mistake. Please cut the lollipop and use only the stick. Creating the first circle with eight dots. Emperor Gold is my all time favorite. I chose Pond from Martha Stewart, but you can choose any color, any blue, whatever you have. I'm using a sharpened pencil to place my blue dot and getting ready for walk the dot. Guys, if your paint is thick, just like mine, please add tiny amount of water and go easy on water. I'm using the same pencil I think walk the dot is fun once you know the technique. So dip only once and keep dotting for four to five times. Make sure you're hugging the big dot while dotting. I'm repeating the same on the other side now. Let's take a colored pencil for the bigger dots as this pencil is not sharp at all. I 
I am again using my sharpened pencil for walk the dot. For bigger dots, you have so many options. I'm using backside of a paintbrush that I bought from IKEA. It has a flat back. You can also use backside of a pencil or a pen. Let's use this swipe technique, or you can say, drag a dot. You simply drag your dot and create a beautiful pattern. I'm using a colored pencil with Emperor Gold. You should always practice on a piece of paper if you're doing this for the first time. Now I'm going to eyeball and applying four dots with Teal Mint. I'm using my lip gloss again. Oh no. Good thing that I always keep Q-tips on the side of my table. Guys, Q-tips and clean water is a lifesaver. It's always easy to fix while the paint is wet. You might have known by now how much I love Walk the Dot. Pencil back or you can say pencil eraser creates beautiful dots. Just make sure you got a new pencil. I am trying to give this a framed look. So three crowded dots with emperor gold and drag a dot on each side. Again, 
I am getting ready for walk the dot, but this time I took the bigger lollipop stick. As I see, it makes the bigger dot than a smaller lollipop. Now, I think it's a good time to use Rich Espresso metallic paint, as I know it blends very well with Emperor Gold. This time, I'm walking my dots in the opposite direction, as I see lots of empty space in the outer circle. At this point, I would say get creative and fill the space not necessarily the same colors as mine take any color of your choice guys please send me a picture in the comment if you create one i would love to see your creation as well also don't forget to like and subscribe if you want me to create more videos While walking the dots around a bigger curve, I have noticed I can't get my ending dots very clean. Hmm, not a problem. We can always touch up the tiny dots with tiny tool. That's my sharpened pencil. Looks like my first two rows are dry. Now I can add top dots on these. Oh my god, I just love this gold and blue combination. Here I see so much of empty space. I'm filling this up with gold and rich espresso. I'm simply dragging the dots, leaving a thin tail at the end. Guys, this is not difficult at all, believe me. Just practice few times and you can also create this effect. I am creating V-shape on three crowded dots with blue. As I felt, this is too much of gold, but this is completely optional. Mm, you can leave it gold if you like. Guys, wait for at least 24 hours and varnish your art with polyurethane gloss varnish. Two to three coats. It will protect the surface. 
Thank you so much for watching my video. Please like and subscribe to support my channel.